Welcome, Young Mage. I'm Rhino, and today I am here with Dennis, uh, the event organizer. Yeah, I'm part of the, the team that organized the events for sure. Um, and let's go ahead and get started on the first question. Um, how did your spark ignite? Well, I started playing Magic when I was about 17 years old, so pretty late compared to you. Uh, and this is when Euphorexia came out, and... Um, a couple of friends, I played, I played Yu-Gi-Oh! when I was a kid a little bit, and a couple of friends brought their cards into school, and I thought it'd be fun to, like, for nostalgia's sake, play. And these are the kids that were playing Magic, and I was like, that's a dumb game. These guys are playing this game. This sucks. I don't want to play Magic. What does that card do? Well, that's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, and then I slowly, bit by bit by bit, got into it, and then I bought the new Phyrexia event deck. It was called Doom Inevitable, I think it was, the intro pack, and never looked back. That, is, that has been me forever. Magic is, I mean, before it was just a huge hobby of mine and a big part of my life. It's how I met my girlfriend. It's a lot, like, it's a big part of my life. Now it's my job, too, so I think it's safe to say I eat, breathe, and sleep magic. So, uh, why magic other than another game? I really, and I know I kind of have to say this, but I do really think that magic is the best game in the world. It's got this sort of perfect storm of easy to learn, difficult to master. So, for example, I'm sure you're a much better Magic player than I am, but you and I could probably both learn the game from scratch pretty quick. And you got a great head start now, too, because you, you, yeah. you started a lot younger than I did. By the time you're my age, you're going to be amazing. Um, so it's got that sort of easy to learn, difficult to master thing to it, but it's just got so many decision points, and there's a lot of deep strategy to it. But what I think the real, the real trick up Magic's sleeve is that there's just so many ways to play. There's so many ways to play the game. So whatever you come to the game looking for, you'll be able to find it, which means that there really is something for everybody. Uh, what is one fantastic story? So, do you remember Cons of Tarkir, where they had all the morph cards? Yeah. Um, so it was right when the pre-release was happening. I went to a friend's house, we got a box, and we all started playing together. And um, there was a card in that set called Wooly Loxodon, which was a 6-7 that you could flip up, and it, it would come up, flip up into a 6-7. And I attacked with a morph, and a buddy of mine was on 6 life. And he looked at me and he said, now if I just take this hit, I kill you on my turn. I'm like, yeah. He's like, but if this is a Wooly Loxodon, I'm just dead. And, I'm like, and I said to him, I was like, which one's Wooly Loxodon? I don't know that one. And he's like, okay, cool, no blocks. I went, sweet, reveal Wooly Loxodon. And he was furious. He was so mad that I, I had the Oscar-winning performance of convincing him I didn't know what Wooly Loxodon was. And then I beat him to death with it. And that is, those are the moments that make Magic really one of the best games in the world, I think. For one thing, uh, I didn't know that you could do that. <laughs> now you do. So why does Magic keep you so busy? Well, um, at an event like GP Vegas, which is probably the biggest event of the year, there's just a lot of moving pieces. We have two main events with thousands of players in them, hundreds of side events, and loads of awesome special guests like you. That we want to make sure you guys have a, lot, a good opportunity to, you know, Playing, playing some events, have some fun, but also generate content like this to let people out there know if you haven't gone to a Grand Prix yet, I think you definitely should. Now, I'm biased, but hopefully from the mouth of Rhino here, that means a little bit more. Um, there's just a lot of things going on with a lot of people in the hall, and like I said, everybody's looking for a different experience, and we try our best to make sure everybody gets the experience they're looking for, and sometimes that means we are pretty busy. Well, uh, I want to... I want to thank you for your time, uh, and I have more videos coming out soon, so until then, Rhino out!